Hi everyone. Okay, we're going to try to do this quick tutorial um, on this super cute little um, gift bag purse. Let me see if I can get it. Sorry, I'm trying to do this quickly. Um, and it opens like this. Yeah, so you, you can put whatever on the inside. And um, it's pretty easy, and I um, had seen something similar to this on another video, and I, I wish to goodness I could remember where I'd seen it, um, and I'm hoping that if I see the video again, I'll be able to put it in the description. Um, mine is a tad bit different than what I had seen, and um, anyway, let's get started. It's really simple. Um, and quick to do, and let me see if I can get the camera set. I should have had the camera set earlier, but anyway, all you're going to need <coughs> for this is a 12 by 12 piece of paper, pattern paper, a um, 4 by 4.5 piece of cardstock coordinating, and some ribbon. Um, this is a wider ribbon. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but we'll see. And of course, some adhesive and um, a hole punch. And um, just for video purposes, I went ahead and scored it already, but I'll show you what I did. You take your 4x4, four four, um, I mean 12x12, 12 12, oh my goodness, piece of uh, paper, and you're going to score it at 4 and 8 and then turn it and score it at 4 and 8 again. And then what I did is I turned it over and to be able to get the creases in the four corners, I turned it over and um, you're not going to completely fold it because you don't want the crease in the center, but you just hold it down and then just crease like from this point to the end. Um, and you lay it down, you know, so that you're not creasing the center, you're just creasing from this point to the end. And you do that um, actually in all four corners. You, know, you might have to flip your paper this way and then flip it over and do it again you know, this way. So then once you've got that, then I'm going to get this board out of the way. Then you're going to, real easy, um, and this is where your adhesive starts coming in, which of course naturally I don't have it. And for video purposes, I'm just using um, some of the cheaper uh, tape. I would probably use like the red sticky tape, um, you know, I have better adhesive, but just for video purposes, and obviously in my time, um, I'm going to do it this way, but you're going to want to lay in your middle, and I hope you guys can see this, um, this probably isn't the best view, but you're going to lay some adhesive just right at the top. section, you know, middle, middle one, just right along here, and you bring that over and fold it down there. Then for the sides, oops, of course my tape is not working right, um, you just run it along this side and that side, and that folds down there. You're going to do that, you know, once again, lay some tape here and fold that down, lay tape here, and like I said, for video purposes, I'm just going to try to get through this quickly, and it would obviously take more time if I was doing, and I forgot to put the tape there, so this is what happens when you're in a hurry. taking advantage of Marky sleeping. <laughs> so, and then you just turn it over and 
you're going to do the same thing on this side. Lay it down, flip it over. my red sticky double-sided tape just because um, it will hold better, especially if you're going to be putting like maybe baked goods or something inside of this or even candy or whatever. And it does get a little tricky, you know, if you do it this way, but oh, my tape is not working, you guys. It's like goobering all over the place, but okay. So then it gives you this box. So then, all you're going to do, um, you know, set this aside for a second, because then your four by four, I'm sorry, four by four and a half um, piece of cardstock, you're going to lay it at the four and a half side, and you're going to score it at two and two and a half. Okay, so it's four by four and a half. Lay it on the four and a half side on your scoreboard and score it at two and two and a half. And then that gives you this. Then to give it, you can use any um, border punch that you choose to. I just happen to have this one real handy just because I was using it earlier. <coughs> um, yeah, and you're going to punch that out. And hopefully we can do this quietly. My door shut too, so that helps. Um, and hopefully you can hear me because I'm not talking as loudly. So you're just going to, you know, punch. or, yeah, both sides. My chair squeaking too, so that's nothing. <laughs> so. Ah, and then I used my, um, crocodile. Is that what this thing is called? Yeah. And I used the bigger hole, the 3 16 Oh, and I just set it somewhere. I don't even know. You know, you, you, wherever you want your holes for your handle. And um, then you make your holes. And then if you wanted to get more fancier, you could also put um, not bread, eyelets. Punch in there, but for right now we're just gonna do use this. And I'm not sure if this wider ribbon's gonna work, but we're gonna try it because that's what I have handy. Um, it should work okay. It'll just be a wider, you know, wider band. And you lace that through and tie a knot in the end. And I'll trim that off uh, in a minute. And then you lace this side through. Kind of figure where you might want your handle. I'm just kind of eyeballing for a second. And that looks good. You know, there's no right or wrong way of doing this handle part. You know, just your preference. And how long you want it. And naturally, my scissors are in my. I wanted my bigger scissors, but that's okay. So I'm going to set that aside. And then, um, once again, you're, you're going to want um, heavy, heavy tape, but we're just going to use this. This tape here, 
this roll for some reason has not been cooperating. <laughs> okay, then you're going to want where your inside of your box is, where you put the um, flaps in, you're going to want to add this to the one side. Line that up on there. You're just going to kind of pinch those corners in a little bit. And you know what? I forgot to tell you too. Um, you're going to want some Velcro, and I just have these uh, quick circle Velcro pieces. And put put it together and put one on the one side up here and try to center it the best you can and then make sure those are on the sides so they don't get in the way put that together like so so that it's laying on you know that top ledge and just pinch that together. My colors probably aren't the best, but I wanted to show you, um, you know, the pieces separate. And then it's, it's not, oh, well, this is a video gone bad, but maybe it won't be noticeable. And there you go. And then you could decorate this however you choose to. You could leave it plain, you know, however you want to do that. But I thought, you know, for a quick little um, gift, um, I thought this would be neat you know, to maybe put some, uh, you know, homemade cookies or, you know, candy or, or even, you know, Depending on who you were giving it to, you could even put some nice little uh, scrapbooking things in there, treat, you know, gifts and stuff, and, um, anyway, a neat way to present a gift. So, there it is, you guys. Quick and easy. I hope I wasn't going too fast, and I hope I could, exp you know, explain it fairly well for you, and um, hope you enjoy this, have fun with it, and right, that's all there is to it. So anyway, have fun creating, you know, your little bags, purses, whatever, and uh, decorate it however you want to. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and have a great weekend. Love to all. Bye.